The issue of regional travel has long been a concern for CARICOM leaders, with efforts continuously made to improve connectivity. In a bid to address this challenge, the Antiguan government has initiated plans to launch LIA 2020, a revitalized version of the bankrupt airline. Flights are anticipated to comment as early as this year, sparking optimism for the revival of the aviation sector. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre has shed light on St. Lucia's involvement in this initiative, disclosing that his budget includes a $1 million allocation specifically earmarked for regional travel. Furthermore, discussions are underway for St. Lucia to potentially become a strategic partner in this endeavor. We have a million dollars in the budget for regional travel, and that million dollars, we want to use it strategically as far as regional travel is concerned. It is easier to get to Miami than to get the same kids. Sometimes it's even cheaper to get to Miami than against it. That is unacceptable. But you know, it's not a simple thing. But we have that allocation in the budget. As I said to the, the Prime Minister of, of Antigua, there has been no issue, issuance of shares. Just an idea that Ant Antigua is pursuing for now on its own. But we are speaking to them. We will continue to speak to them. And if the time comes, St. Lucia will take a strategic position as far as getting involved. But as we speak now into discussion. The Prime Minister went on to highlight the scope of the financial challenges faced by airlines. He was, however, pleased that the Antiguan government chose to initiate this process. Airlines don't seem to be making any money these days. It's a very difficult thing. And governments can't afford to subsidize these airlines in terms of taxpayers revenue taxpayers money but and the level of taxation some people say level of taxation is very high you know in St. Lucia we had to implement an airport development tax to fund the the, the Hiwanora airport so it's, it's, a, it's a very very critical situation but I must tell you we need to find a solution to the problems in regional travel in the, in the region and Antigua started and we're talking to them. Regional stakeholders hold hope that the imminent launch of LIA 2020 will alleviate connectivity challenges in the Caribbean region. For Choice News Now, I am Quinn Segis.